We've already covered some of the horrific stuff that's going on with legislation against transgender kids and their parents over in America in states such as Texas and Idaho. Well, trans youth are now coming under attack here in the UK as well, as just over a week ago the Conservative government elected to exclude trans people from a ban on conversion therapy, in a move which has understandably caused massive backlash from the LGBTQ plus community. Now, I generally try to avoid being politically partisan about these things where possible, but this is a huge own goal for the Tory party, especially since they had planned to hold an LGBTQ plus conference in June, which they have now been forced to cancel, because all of the major LGBTQ organisations like Stonewall have pulled out of the event in protest. It really just makes the government look very stupid with hindsight to think that they could try and be on good terms with the LGBTQ community while at the same time singling out and discriminating against trans people. Naturally, there have already been some bad faith deflection tactics deployed by both politicians and transphobes on the internet, trying to reframe the conversation by saying things like how therapists should be allowed to ask questions, like are you sure this is the right choice for you when it comes to starting puberty blockers or other treatments for instance, and no, that's not what conversion therapy is and it's not what trans people are concerned about. Conversion therapy involves taking someone and forcibly changing their identity by attempting to quote unquote cure them of being gay or trans or non-binary or whatever it might be. It's a barbaric and outdated practice practice no matter who is on the receiving end, hence why it has already been outlawed in many other countries including Brazil, Argentina, France, Uruguay, Malta and New Zealand, to name just a few. And it's really about time that the UK caught up and brought in its own ban, and it doesn't count unless trans people are protected as well. You can't be selective when it comes to human rights. For those watching this who are in the UK, I'll leave a link down below where you can email your local MP about this situation, so if you could take a few minutes out of your day, that would be very much appreciated. The Tory party are really being backed into a corner right now with all of the backlash they've received, so it's worth keeping the pressure on in the hope that they will reverse this decision. Thank you.